talk a lot about our problems, our issues, the facts of life, and this and that. We might, some people might argue a little bit more, some people may not argue at all. But we tend to just mellow out. You understand what I'm saying? We just, we just tend to mellow out. I ain't, I ain't got time for no argument. I'm wasting my time in there. Yeah. But, but I wanted to argue, though. I was an organ type person. I wanted to argue. He said, I ain't going to argue with you. He said, you might as well stop talking. It made me so mad. I was like, I want to fuck. That's what I'm used to doing, you know. And then you had that makeup part. I think that's what I liked, that makeup part. He said, he said no, uh, I don't do that. I was like, what? Uh-uh. Instead of making up, let's just go ahead and go cut you to the chase. <laughs> let's, cut, let's, <laughs> let's just cut to the chase. Let's go do this, you know. Yeah, yeah. We're going to talk about it right now. Uh, right now. Right now. Matt was telling me the other day. What about two weeks ago? What about two or three weeks ago? I've been doing better now. Because I've been wanting to argue about it. Yeah, I believe it. I believe you in the argument. I don't want to argue about any little thing. Am I right, Matt? You just said it's mean. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We have to bond together, even though we have different changes of life, everyday things. You know, we have some ups and downs that happens in life. But yet and still, we still have to overcome that and still let that bring us closer together. No matter what life throws at us as married couples, we have to let embrace that and bond together. A lot of times, married couples, when life throws you a, 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 a curve, people break up. Mm-hmm. You know? But if you rooted in Christ, that should bring y'all closer together. Oh, baby, we can deal with this. This ain't nothing but a little setback. We're going to make it through it. We're going to move forward. Because guess what? We got God on our side. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to say that. Yeah, it's easy to say that, but. It's hard to do when you're in the midst of something. God usually is the aftermath. Yeah. We remember him after or in the middle of it. When something tears up in the beginning, we add each other like we're trying to understand. But yeah. it's in the midst of that that we remember, come on, we need to pray together. It's not, it, it, he don't jump right at you when it first happens because you in the human. You mm-hmm. just, you're why you're in the call, Why are you treating me like this? Mm-hmm. And you say, both of y'all say, love the Lord, just got off of your knees praying. Mm-hmm. But when something happens, you go at each other before you go to each other. Mm-hmm. And then that's when you remember, wait a minute, God, we need you. He's always there. Mm-hmm. But we usually pull him in when we going into the storm. We don't mm-hmm. tell them, Lord, we're in a storm. Come on, and do this. Mm-hmm. because we hit in the storm then. Mm-hmm. But then when we get feel it coming in, then we say, "Let's pray. I need you. Come on, help us." But it's we say a lot of things sometimes that it sounds so easy to do. God, you are committed for him, to your husband or a wife, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor in sickness and in health. We need to regularly reaffirm your marriage commitment to God. Mm -hmm. This alone will powerfully impact your marriage relationship. Second suggestion is that you pray for fidelity. Pray daily that you will be faithful to your spouse and he or she will be faithful to you. Mm -hmm. And not just in action, but faithful in thought life as well. Mm A third, to pray for romance. Romantic love isn't everything in a marriage, but it's, it sure is valuable. Mm-hmm. That's the truth. That's the truth. Yeah, I do pray for that. I do. I pray for that. I, I do pray for that. Yeah. 
Daily ask God. Daily ask God. Daily ask God to keep romance burning yeah. in your relationship. Ask him for ideals yeah. to fan the flame yeah. of romance. It's amazing to me. Seek his help to remember birthdays, anniversaries, yeah. and other special events. Mm-hmm. Pray for passion in your marriage. Yes. Pray that God will give you a strong sexual desire, desire for your such sexual relationships are extremely important in a successful marriage but even in the best of marriages there are different seasons rather ask God to bless this area of your life ask him to instruct you in growing and deepening that relationship submit problems to the law Submit problems <laughs> to the law. Every marriage faces problems. So while the children, sex, in-laws, finance, communication, schedules our spirituality, submit, submit them to the Lord in prayer. Every day, ask God to use the problems to draw you closer together. Strengthen rather than weaken your marriage. Pray individually, but also pray together. That's right. Some of these areas may not do easily lend themselves to prayer with another, but most of life does lend itself to praying together as a couple. Set aside a special time and place to pray out loud together, like Pastor said. Mm -hmm. Share your dreams and disappointments, your plans and your problems. Marriage is primarily a spiritual relationship. You will discover yourselves drawn together spiritually in a way that will bring God's blessings. Improve communication, enhance sex, solve problems, renew your marriage. For those who will really pursue marriage, marital prayer, the future is exciting. For those who don't, you will miss out on much of God's best for you. Finally, most couples who regularly attend church are more likely to be married to the same person over a long period of time than couples who don't. But just going to church doesn't make a marriage succeed. We may conclude that church life and married life have a positive influence on each other, though. Church now we're going to close out with another prayer and uh, we're going to bless the food and we're going to eat because uh, most uh, I know Paul when you're watching football you love to eat <laughs> so when I'm watching gun smoke I like to pause it and go get me something to eat no. <laughs> and, you know, Expectations that you go into marriage with that may not come to pass. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Well, Paul and Reese, y'all should have been here for some of those earlier sessions before I just tore people up and 
chew them up and spit them out. <laughs> and uh, because uh, uh, we had a couple that, well, both of them came separate. And uh, she asked me to ask him a question and everything. And, and, and uh, I did, and he came up with the right answers, but he stuck it out, and they married. They got married through spiritual marriage and power. But some people came and couldn't handle it, you know. But uh, but we've had some great sessions. Well, we, we have, they know it's not easy. These couples you see that's in here, the sessions that we've had, they know it's, it's not an easy road. Uh, um, I asked some hard questions. Uh, we've been through some hard sessions together. And I thank God for spiritual marriage empowerment. Um, we There's no area of marriage that we haven't been through. I mean, we've been through some deep sessions. One thing I love about spiritual marriage empowerment is people like you and them, the poor. Everybody come here, ask your questions, give your testimony, give your input, because what we discuss here, it goes no further. Because they need to hear, just like you said you wanted to say something, they need to hear that. Because what you say, what you say helps them. You understand? Because what you say helps them to make it, it encourages them to make it, to mm -hmm. fight harder. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because, because. Sometimes you fight, sometimes you don't fight. All right, guys, this is going to wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment down below. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. And I pray that you have a blessed day in the Lord. Remember, keep God first in your marriage and it will be successful. Bye, guys.